Hello and welcome to another video. Now this is going to be a bit of a different one and since everyone is currently farming out the Hall of Memories, I figured I would explain the two ticking method at Hall of Memories and how you can potentially increase your XP per hour by 50%. So when you click harvest on one of these memories, there'll be a short delay, you'll then gain some experience, there'll be another short delay. That is the process of one event of clicking on this memory to harvest it. Now if you just click once, it'll continuously harvest, it'll do the delay, it'll then give you the experience and fill your jar, and then it'll do a delay, and then it'll restart again, it'll do a delay, it'll give you the experience, it'll delay. Now with two ticking, what you do is, um, Essentially, every time you click on this memory, it restarts that process. No matter where you are in the timeline of the process, it restarts it. So, if you were to continuously just spam click on the memory, you would not harvest anything because it's constantly restarting it without doing anything. Now, the idea of two ticking is that once you see the XP drop and you've got the experience and your jar is filled, you click again and it restarts the process and it cancels out the sort of post experience drop delay. I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but listen to it again, it's actually really quite simple. Now, there are a few different versions of what a game tick is, depending on what you're doing. However, RuneScape uses server-side game ticks. So essentially, anything that is, any action that's performed that requires any server processing at all, goes by game ticks. Now, a game tick in RuneScape is 0.6 seconds of real-world time. So essentially every 0.6 seconds a game tick happens in game. So when we talk about two ticking at Hall of Memories, what we're referring to is clicking every 1.2 seconds in order to get the most out of the functionality of the minigame. The reason that we two tick is because it's the time it takes for that XP to drop is two in-game ticks. So if you wait for those two in-game ticks or 1.2 seconds from the first time you click harvest, that will be when your first experience drops. Then you want to click as soon as that experience drops to restart that timer and go, you know, ca carry on as we explained earlier. Now the advantages to two ticking at Hall of Memories is that you can get an extra 50% XP per hour. So if you were going to get, I don't know, 100k XP an hour, you'd be getting 150k XP an hour. So it is a considerable boost. However, this will require you to consistently two tick throughout the hour and not miss any of those, those clicks, which can be done. I personally struggle to do this for a full hour, however, I probably average around an extra 45% XP per hour by two ticking. So yeah, I've sped this up just to put these two clips side by side. One of them is me just clicking and AFKing at harvesting, and one of them is me doing the two tick method. Now, of course, the different memories that pop up give you different um, fill rates for the jars, so my basis for success here was on the number of times I can actually harvest that memory. So just going by the standard AFK method, I was able to get 83 harvests. However, doing the tick manipulation for two tick method was actually giving me um, 118 harvests, which isn't perfectly 50%, but it's very, very close. Now I'm going to explore some methods of being consistent with this. Now the first one that most people seem to do at the moment is just wait for that experience to drop on screen and as soon as they see the experience they click again. Now this is a viable method, however I feel that this is a little bit difficult to maintain. Certainly when the server lag it can end up being a little bit inconsistent. The second method is to get a metronome up on YouTube on a continuous loop that is set for 50 beats per minute, which means that essentially if a game tick is 0.6 seconds and we're wanting to click every 1.2 seconds, we'd need to click 50 times per minute. So that's why we've got a metronome set at 50 beats per minute. It means every time you hear the ding of the metronome, you click. However, I feel like that would drive me insane, so I have got a method that I feel works pretty well. So the method that I go with and I'd recommend is watching for the flag on the minimap. Every time you click harvest, the flag is going to appear for a short period and then it'll disappear. Now this, I've noticed, doesn't seem to get affected by server lag. So if 
you know, there is a bit of lag going on in the server when, you know, there's 1,500 people in a world. It's not going to be affected by that. This means that you can maintain the exact time you want to be clicking. I mean, it's probably as good as the metronome method, but you don't have to listen to a dinging constantly for hours and hours on end. So, yeah, look at the mini map, look at the flag. Every time the flag disappears, you just click again. I'm not going to go into what the experience rates an hour are here because they differ quite a bit from player to player that you ask and I feel like it's it's deserving of a different video because the experience an hour that you can get at Hall of Memories depends on a lot more than just how, you know, you, what, what method you're doing, whether it's AFK or two ticking, it depends on how many people are there, how, you know, whether there's a a core hunting party on, whether people have cores saved up and so on, so I'm going to do that for a separate video. So I've made a small demo which is absolutely not accurate in terms of what actually goes on in the game in terms of like, you know, the, the whole content, but this is the general process and it's more of a visualization of the process. So you left click and um, you begin the process of harvesting. Now once that process is finished, which takes 1.2 seconds, which is what this is set to as a length, then we harvest a memory. So our, for, for the sake of just visualizing this, we've got memories harvested, which is appended here, and it prints onto the screen to say you've harvested one memory. Then there's a 0.6 second delay, which is a one tick in RuneScape, and then it goes back to the beginning of this beginning harvest, which is two ticks. So what will happen though is if we press the left mouse button, it starts, it plays from the start. So if we continuously spam click, it'll constantly start playing this from the start and it'll never finish because it'll never reach the 1.2 second timeline. Now, as well though, if we click as soon as these memories have been harvested and we get the notification on screen, then it'll start this process again, ignoring this delay here, and it'll just go straight back into it. So if I just show you in-game what I'm talking about, if I click at the top left, you're going to see now one harvesting, two harvesting, three harvesting, and so on. And I've timed these as well, so to harvest ten memories in... Um, just, just this method would take about 17 seconds, whereas doing the other method, which I'm going to show you now, if I restart play again, so as soon as we see it, we click again, and again, and again, and just like this. It took me around 12 and a half to 13 seconds when I was doing it properly um, to, to get these. And yeah, as you can see there, that's where we want it, is that straight flicker. So there you can kind of see more of a visual representation of what's going on. Now in RuneScape, obviously they don't just have a delay for the sake of it. There is things going on, which is what cause takes up that one in-game tick. Um, so yeah that that kind of you, you could probably comment this down as like animation slash back end do da I, I i i don't know like what goes on in their engine or or you know on the back screens of that but what i do know is we've got the the 1.2 seconds which is two ticks there which is how long it takes to harvest originally and then you've got the 0.6 second delay in order to restart that process but of course, I've just shown you there that if you wait for the 1.2 seconds and click, it resets that process straight away so you don't have to wait and thus increasing your experience by 50% an hour. So yeah, that's everything I've got to say on this subject. If there is anything you feel I got wrong, please let me know down below and I'll address it. If you need further explaining as to, you know, anything I might have not explained particularly well, please just let me know down below as well and I can get on that as well. Any future videos you want to see, let me know as well. I'm saying let me know as well a lot. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that stuff. I'm going to get going and I will see you guys in the next video.